How's it going guys? Frank Z here. So, I got a pack. This is my worst pack so far. Let's see if I can uh, set this up for you guys here so you can see it. Let's do a voltage check on it. Pack. Okay, so most of these packs are sitting around 39.2, 39 volts, somewhere in there. This one is extremely low. You can see we're sitting at about 35.2, which is going up now that I've disconnected the BMS. It was at 32 before. So let's go through the cells. 1.173 volts, 3.25, so that's a good pack, or a bunch of cells. It's a little bit low. It's low. Low. That is not bad. Real low. Real bit low. That's a bad cell group. So we got two extremely low cell groups here, from what, here and here, somewhere in there, somewhere in there. <clears throat> so my buddy Off Grid Wannabe showed me a couple things with these packs, and the problems we're gonna have is not unbalancedness or anything like that. It's corrosion on the cells. So. I'm just going to take this one right apart, and we're going to look inside and see how bad this one's doing. I think you can actually see how rough this pack looks. No, I can't say it got hot or what sort of problem with it, because I really don't know. But we're going to open her up and see what's going on in there. Thanks. So, I got this one all apart finally. Freaking just sweating. Got so much clothes on. Mosquitoes are just killing me. Let's look at my gloves. They're all over them. Anyways, but there's some corrosion on these end ones here. Like you can see a little bit. Now I'm not sure the electrolyte these are filled with. If there is an electrolyte, I'm pretty sure there is, it'd be very minimal. Maybe if someone knows the chemistry of the electrolyte inside these, maybe you can give me a, a shout. This one here looks a little bit corroded as well. But nothing is. They're all attached. Every single one of them is attached well. I may try uh, hooking a BMS up to this and seeing what happens. I'm charging it. See if I can get this pack to blow up. Thanks. Alright guys, we're going to try and blow up this pack today. So I've been charging, discharging a little bit. It's sitting at around 40 volts. And which is, I'll show you where I started off. I got some pictures and stuff. So one of the cells was at like 1.1 volts. Or one group, which was one of the ends. 
probably this end here because that cell eight is between here these are the ones that are going to blow when they blow they're right now they're sitting at 3.58 volts and the rest of the pack is at 3.2 ish so you're talking yeah. about pumping water up that hill and then using it later thought they would have burnt those wires off by now yeah Nah, they're only pushing minimum. They can only balance at 60 milliamps. That's all that's going through these middle wires. 60 milliamps. The little wires are not going to even get touched. Not to mention, I can disconnect these really quick, right? Yeah. That's why I put it on jumper cables. Are they worn, those wires? No. Coming out of that thing? No. I don't even got to touch them to find out. Four amps coming through there. Now because I don't know why mine blew up. So I don't mind things blowing up if I know why. Yeah. If I know why, I can avoid that. So, so I'll tell you what's going on here, guys. These cells are at uh, they're 3.2 nominal uh, lithium iron phosphate cells, A123, 22, 26650s. And we're overcharging right now. Try and get the pack to blow. Or something to happen. And we're not supposed to go above 3.6 volts per cell. And cell number eight is between these two red guy, two red clips here. And that's about 4.25 volts per, per cell on an 8P group. And we're just trying to see what's going to happen here. It doesn't seem like nothing's going to happen, to tell you the truth. No hissing, no venting, no warmth, nothing. Alright, thanks.